right, this is grade three, module three, lesson seven. And in this lesson, we're going to be um, using a little bit of algebra. We're going to be interpreting the unknown by using a letter. And we're going to be drawing a lot of tape diagrams in this video because tape diagrams are really useful for understanding problems that involve multiplication and division. So in this first problem, we have Ari, and Ari sells seven boxes of pens at the school store. All right, And then each box of pens sells for $7. Draw a tape diagram and label the total amount of money that he makes as M. Okay, so the important thing is we've got to draw a tape diagram. So it says he sells six boxes of pens, so we're going to model that with a bar. And we're going to cut that up into six equal size pieces because they're identical boxes of pens. And each box costs $7. And so I want to know, the question says, what is the total amount of money? And we're supposed to use the letter M. And so um, that's the model, the tape diagram for this problem. Now to record the expression or the equation, I mean, it's going to be 6 times 7, as in 6 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 groups of 7, and that equals M, and then we can solve it. M is equal to $42, and that's the answer. Now, if we were to continue down here, each box contains 6 pens draw a tape diagram. So we have each box contains six pens, draw a tape diagram, and label the total number of pens P. All right, so we know that we have six boxes because it says so up here, six boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So our tape itself is going to look the same. So we're going to have six boxes. So I'm going to label there, uh, cut it up into six pieces. Now each piece each box has six pens, and we want to know the total number of pens, and specifically we're going to use the letter P. So if we want to write our equation, that's going to be six groups of six equals P. So this first six, this six right here, indicates one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this 6 indicates that each box has 6 pens. And doing the math, we can get P is equal to 36. Technically, we should write 36 pens. All right. And then our last problem for this video, Mr. Lucas divides 28 students into 7 equal groups for a project. So the important numbers. 28 students into seven equal groups. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of students in each group as n. Okay, so we know we have seven equal groups. So that means I'm going to take my bar and I'm going to cut it up into seven equal sized pieces, roughly. That's pretty good. And make sure I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I've got seven equal groups. And we know that the total is 28 students. And they want us to label the number of students in each group as n. So that tells us that this group right here equals n. And so our equation is going to be 28 divided by 7 equals n. And then n equals four. So there are four students in each group. Four students in each group. And really, if we wanted to check it out, we could do four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four and do our skip counting. Um, four plus four is eight. Four plus four is eight. Four plus four is eight plus an extra four. Um, this isn't really skip counting. This is just repeated addition. And then we can do well, 8 plus 8 is 16, 8 plus 4 is 12, and then when we add these two together, we get 28. And there is 
another way to verify that our answer is indeed four students in each group. And so that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 7.